everybody, my name is Emily and over the next eight weeks I'm going to be building this boat. up so I have to reach in there and put some uh, plugs there. Sunday, October 20th, and I uh, spent most of the day preserving food, but then I came here and did some work. Here's what I did. I uh, added this webbing on the back seat just to give it a little bit more strength. Got it clamped to an old battery just because I needed something that would keep it square. So that's all nice and filleted. I've got the uh, mast uh, partner underside here. Just an extra piece of wood to reinforce the mast. And I've got uh, a mast step here assembled. That goes down here to uh, give a support to the mast. And I added some little cookie shaped things to cover the uh, hardware on the inside there. These outside ones are going to get some uh, butterfly fish covering them, but I'm not going to do that yet because I want to uh, varnish first. And that means I'm going to sand some of that. be easier without the fish on it. Oh, this is really kind of the end of parts for the rowboat. Uh, I've still got the mast over there, dagger board, rudder, and um, boom yard sail, but get ready for lots and lots of sanding. I think I have a cleanup day ahead of me before I start all this sanding. I have really made a mess at this carport. Sorry, Mom and Dad. We're going to clean it up in a couple days. I'm adding some flotation to this back seat. The seat is removable, and that aspect of the seat comes from the nesting pram. The shape of the seat comes from the non-nesting pram, and this comes from the nesting version of the frame. So it's kind of a hybrid seat we're doing. But there's a lot of flotation now in this boat because we've got flotation in the front seat. We've got all this is hollow except for the dagger board here. So lots of flotation there. So I've added flotation to the back. Plus I'm going to store my life jacket and another um, uh, flotation device under here. So it's going to be pretty darn safe.
Well, the boat is at the point where I just need to sort of sand it and finish it, make it look pretty. Uh, before I do that, I have a couple other related projects. One of them has to do with the battery for my motor. Clark is making a lithium battery that's going to go in a box that I can carry with this boat to run the motor and he's asked me to make a plate that sort of locks things in and we're gonna put some switches and such in it so this is what it looks like don't look like much here but this is the size of the box we have we've got some batteries and some switches that are gonna go in here so we can read displays and he's gonna have a capacity checker in there. But, uh, yep, gonna use the jigsaw to create that for him out of this scrap uh, six mil. Welcome to the lab. This is where Clark invents things. All right, here's my battery box. So that corner has to be rounded off. Mm -hmm. And obviously all the corners have to be rounded off mm -hmm. so I can fit down in there. Well, I guess that fits. Maybe, maybe this has to be trimmed a little bit. Anyway, trim that to fit. When you're working in this area, do not get any metal anywhere near this. It's a bomb. Okay. Okay. So. Where's the uh, battery monitor and stuff going to go? Well, they go down into there. Okay. You're going to be making another piece of wood that goes across all the way to here. This sticks out just to have structure to the whole thing. Okay. Uh, and you can put your radio in that area, but the, so there'll be a okay. wood that comes across to here. Now, some circuit breakers here. There it is. There'll be two of these. They mount in here. So okay. you need to cut slots and holes for those. Okay. Two of them, and you want them to go here and here? I think here and here might look... I, I okay. don't really care. They can even go this way. Mm, they've got to have room for this. And the inside of it. These two have little heads. Okay. So it's probably better if they're like here and here. And then okay. uh, we'll not really use that, I think. There's the other one. And then somewhere else here, there's a. It's not this, but it looks like this. Well, it's Saturday, the 26th of October, and we've made it to sanding day. Uh, all the construction is pretty much done, all the pieces are in. Uh, we've got a little bit to do with the sailing rig, but the boat, the rowboat part, is ready for sanding. Because we're going to be doing epoxy sanding and fiberglass sanding, I got me some coveralls. Hopefully it won't be too hot. And I've been told that boat building is 95% sanding, so I probably have a lot of work ahead of me. Hopefully it'll be like one or two days. And then we'll see a big color change and finish the boat.
I'm not gonna lie to you. This is kind of crappy work. Uh, it's not very fulfilling. The only thing fulfilling about it is knowing that eventually it will be done. But in the meantime, doing as much as I can with the uh, random orbital sander. Uh, I've got another little sander I can use. That's really the only thing keeping me going is knowing that I can do most of this uh, with an electronic tool. Um, but the hand sanding is just bleh. I wish that... No, I don't. I, I've been sanding all throughout this process, probably sanding too much. In fact, some of these pieces, the top ply of the wood is getting a little thin because I've sanded it before and then I got more stuff on it and then I sanded it again. But I do wish I was a little more cleaner, like on these fillet edges here, right there, because I'm going to have to really get in there with my fingers and get it done. Then I think I'm going to varnish the inside first, because if there's drips onto the outside, the outside is not as important to me as the inside, which is what people are going to see when they're sitting in it or when I'm sitting in it. Whew. Oh man, I'm tired. My arms are tired. My, my hands are all buzzy from using this. Uh, random orbital sander. Take a little break and then come back. I've now been sanding for four hours and Here is front half. Front half is pretty much ready for varnish. Oh, and I added these little doublers for the Orlox. This is the way we did the gunnels. The Orlox needed a little more support here. Otherwise, they'd hang off and there'd be an airspace behind. So, one half of the boat is done. It's really more like a third of the surface area, but this was a little more complex because I couldn't really get in certain places. So that is my Saturday progress. I'm gonna make some progress tomorrow, it's Sunday, and then next week we paint it. All right, another few hours of sanding, and I think we're mostly done with the big part boat. day has come to varnish the wall.